What's up, everybody? This is Eric Reed's Computer Solutions. So I got the Nexus 6, a phone that came out a few years ago. And this was proclaimed to be the worst camera phone on the planet. The software was terrible. The optics on here was good, but the software was really bad with autofocus problems, focus hunting, and everything in between. Well, today, guys, I'm going to use Filmic Pro on the Nexus 6 and see if I can do a cinematic video here today. I'm going to use a gimbal with Filmic Pro and the Nexus 6, and I'm not going to do no color grading or anything in between. I'm going to do light editing with annotations and stuff like that, but all I'm going to use is Filmic Pro and the gimbal and the Nexus 6, and let's see if I can do cinematic footage with this terrible video camera phone. Ah. <sighs> So let's go out to the park and have us some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready because I got the Nexus 6 on deck. Let's go. Downtown, I got that heat, let's go. All right, guys, so this portion of the video, I want to give you guys some audio. Uh, I'm out here at the park, and one of the things about the Nexus 6 is that the audio was pretty good. Now, I got a lot of wind blowing out here, so it may be some windy, but uh, I wanted to make this video because cameras was always good. It was the software that was bad, but the Nexus 6 biggest problem was it was focus hunting, and the cameras was not that great. But in conjunction with Filmic Pro and the gimbal, you be the judge for yourself on how good or how bad the Nexus 6 camera is. And how about the audio? The audio here, I'm gonna tell you, I never had a problem with the audio with the Nexus 6, but uh, I mean, it's a nice windy day out here, but hey, you be the judge for yourself. But I just wanted to give you some audio commentary on how good the Nexus 6 is. All right, guys, so the footage you just saw came straight from the Nexus 6. To my surprise, it came out pretty good. Now, there was some problems, you know. We're going to talk about it here uh, with this commentary. But the overall color and everything came straight from the Nexus 6. I did not do no color grading or anything like that. Only thing I used was Filming Pro software, and I used my Smooth 4 gimbal. And I got some effects or whatever, but all the optics and everything you saw came straight from the Nexus 6. And it brings up the point of camera phones are good. It's the software that's bad. So coming, uh, shooting this video from the Nexus 6 was extraordinary. Now, we all know that the Nexus 6 had some problems with the full focusing and stuff like that. That was pure software. Also, the battery on here, I shot for about two and a half hours uh, and I'm at about 53% battery life. So it's not that bad, but it wasn't that good. Uh, the phone did get a little hot and I, you notice that in some of the clips that you did see uh, some 
um, flickering here and there because this phone was very hot when I was filming. Uh, so yes, it was some drop frames here and there, but overall it was pretty good, especially coming from the Nexus 6, a device that had been proclaimed to be the worst camera phone on the planet. Let me go down and turn the camera around and let me show you some of the uh, the modes and, and things that I did with Filmic Pro with the Nexus 6. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is the Nexus 6, right? And I shot this entire video. Uh, the cinematic footage came from the Nexus 6 in conjunction with Filmic Pro. Now, I have a lot of gimbals and the only app that I use was the Filmic Pro app. Now, the settings that I use on Filmic Pro was relatively easy. Uh, I put it on natural mode because I did not want to do no color grading. So I put it on natural mode. Also, I like my white balance. Uh, so a lot of scenes, uh, I needed to use my white balance. So I like my white balance so I could get the perfect scene. Also focusing. What conjunction with uh, the Smooth 4, I have all my controls here as far as focusing and stuff like that. So I did a lot of lock focusing. Also, I did some blur effects, and you could do that on Filmic Pro, and it works great. Now, I did some focus peaking right here. You can use some focus peaking to make sure that everything is in focus. As you can see, the green, uh, when you have the green on there, it tells you that you are in perfect focus. That's really good on Filmic Pro. And as you could know, as you notice, it's no focus hunting here because I locked my focus and I locked my white balance and I have full control over my focusing right there. And that's in conjunction with Filmic Pro. Also, let's go to look at some of the clips. These are all the clips here that I shot with and look how beautiful those clips are. And that comes straight from the Nexus 6. Look how pretty that blue is there. Uh oh, let me turn this back on. I hit the power button. All right, so look at the clips here. Coming straight out of the Nexus 6. Look how pretty those blues is. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that sky is. Everything coming straight out of the Nexus 6. No color grading, no nothing. Boom, these are all the clips that I did straight from Filmic Pro shot exclusively on the Nexus 6. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. I took one of the, the worst camera phones on the planet. One of the worst camera phones on the planet. And I just did cinematic footage with it and it came out beautiful. Just beautiful. Now it was some issues. It was some drop frames and stuff like that because the phone was hot. But other than that, the Nexus 6 did a great job. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.